basket for Brighton. To Maybank. And sending a good return ball back to Malcolm Poskett. Poskett's got Williams close, but he elects to turn. Well, it's a poor cross from Malcolm Poskett. He was lucky in a way that it uh, broke as badly as it did for the defender. Gary Williams hustling in there. And finally, it's hacked away by a Blackburn defender, as far as Joe Craig. Well, they're onside, and Ward's going through. He's got a chance. Oh, it's going to Ward. Wiggling his way through. And so nearly putting Brighton ahead. That all came about after a little bit of sort of heading tennis, and Peter Ward it was who wriggled his way through, found a bit of room, hit the shot, and it avoided the goalkeeper and just went over the crossbar and got a touch on the way. Williams, Gary Williams for Brighton to Maybank. Long ball into the middle. Rollings going up for the challenge. Sayer finding some space on that right side. Oh, good turn, and he's lost his man well. There's a smoke bomb in there. Well, that's incredible. Jerry Ryan has put Brighton ahead. And all the while that that was happening, as the ball was brought in from the right-hand side after some good work by Sayer, there were a couple of smoke bombs in the goal mouth, and I would think John Butcher of uh, Blackburn would be certainly justified in protesting that his vision was impeded, but nevertheless, it's now Brighton leading by one goal to nil. Horton with a good firm header out of defence, but only as far as Rathbone, and Rathbone's got a little bit of space here until there's a good sliding interception from Gary Williams. Closed down the space pretty quickly when Rathbone burst through. And it's gone for the corner to Blackburn on this near side. Eric Steele organising his defence. Had a fairly quiet afternoon so far. But uh, a strange deflection off the back of Mr Taylor's legs. And Brighton is suddenly away with Peter Ward. Being driven wide, wider than he would want. He's got Maybank in support. But Ward electing to go it alone. Oh, what a tremendous shot. Nearly catching the goalkeeper. Oh. And Teddy Maybank furious that the ball wasn't knocked back to him earlier. Peter Ward elected to go it alone when he put the shot in. Keeper was unable to handle it. It rebounded to Maybank. But Maybank, instead of uh, taking his time, hit it first time over the bar. Maybank challenged by Fazakli, and the referee saying that Fazakli held him down. No doubt Fazakli would say that uh, Maybank was making a back for him. Brian Horton, you see, running through there into the penalty area. And now the crowd really do start to get a bit behind their team. Free kick then to Brighton. Halfway, or more than halfway, into the Blackburn half. Free kick is lofted over to the far post. Rollings is there. happened in slow motion the free kick lofted over from the left and almost motionless were the Blackburn defense as they watched Andy Rollings looping the header past Butcher and that makes it Brighton 2 Blackburn 0 Maybank uh, seems to be in some sort of trouble just on the halfway line he took a knock on his right leg just a moment ago and he's in some sort of pain there's no doubt about that Maybank just into the Blackburn into the Brighton half and uh, as I say he's in some pain at the moment this is dangerous because Blackburn are in there and that's a... well that's incredible the ball ran across and so nearly went in but it cannoned back fortunately for Brighton and Sayer was able to get it away that was quite remarkable what a close escape for Brighton Brighton really seeming to be pretty much in command at this point. Sayer back helping his defence out. Ward in the shadow of the main stand. Losing out and McKenzie trying a little overhead flick. And it's a free kick for the challenge on McKenzie as he tried that kick. So it's to be a free kick then to Blackburn, just on the edge of the Brighton penalty area. John Aston to take the kick. 
Oh, and that's a fine goal. What a good goal that was. From the free kick, John Aston really measured it, and he bent that shot quite brilliantly past Eric Steele in the Brighton goal, and suddenly from being very much in control at 2-0, Brighton have got a bit of a fight on their hands. They now lead 2-1.